Hey, it's Austin. I just wanted to uh, go through all the turbine shafts with you. Alright, here's a TDU5H 49mm by 55.6. And the upgrade from that is a TDU6 SL2, which is 54mm by 61mm. Here's a TDU5H again. And it has one less blade for more airflow, kind of like adding a clipped effect to the turbine. Then next is the TDO6 H4, which is, oh, there's a packing peanut. <laughs> anyway, it's 58.8 uh, millimeters by 67 millimeter. And these are all balanced and ready to install as well. Now here's a close-up of the SL2 versus the H4. Alright, that's all the Mitsubishi ones. So, here is the GT35R and it's like 62mm by 67 or 68 and basically it utilizes uh, curvy blades which is helps with the flow, helps it flow more, almost like adding a clipped effect. Except uh, Garrett says that they don't recommend clipping their turbines uh, for more airflow for performance reasons. Like the best way is just to go with a bigger turbine shaft than to use a smaller turbine and clip it and then add a huge compressor wheel. Which makes sense because you want the, uh, like if it was just basically two or an inlet and outlet of a pump, you'll want the airflow to be about the same and there's no way you're going to be able to push the same amount of airflow out of a very small tiny exhaust side of the turbine and have a huge hole on the compressor side, the inlet, so if you can look at it that way. And the next one is the whole set HX40 and this one, you know, they slightly uh, have curved blades on the HX40. The HX35 is more just straight, but uh, for the HX40 and HX35, or mostly all the whole sets, they have more like a fan blade design on the exducer of the wheel. And that's why people say that they spool up so fast, which I don't have any experience with them or not very much experience with them anyway but uh, yeah that's what they claim and I think there you know you would think that there's probably some negative effects to that maybe that since it has such a big exducer or such a sharp radius and exducer on the turbine wheel that um, you know there, there might be a negative effect that it will spool it up fast, but maybe it won't dissipate the air as quickly. Like it won't pass air by as quickly because diesels, they, uh, their air is so slow moving, though some of those diesels are like 13 liter and stuff. So, and then they use really big exhaust housings too. So uh, that's another factor, but a lot of people put these on like their DSMs and Hondas and stuff like that, and apparently they have good results. But you can see a comparison of the 35R exducer and the whole sets, how, how they compare to the exducer versus inducer. So that's why they claim that they spool up so fast. There are some more tricks that you can do to make them spool up faster. One is to shave this nut off the turbine shaft completely, uh, which will throw it way out of balance, but then you can have it balanced again, which takes probably an hour after you just shaved all that metal off. But uh, some companies will do that, and that will reduce the weight drastically of the turbine shaft which is the heaviest part on the rotating assembly as well. So that will help, especially with the HX40, because you can see how big that nut is. You're also losing a lot of flow in there with having that big nut. 
because you got to think of it as how much of this uh, how much of this dimension or um, yeah, the dimension of this shaft is actually flowing air out of it because you have the nut which makes up about I don't know 30 millimeter almost 20 30 millimeter so air is not going to pass through where that nut is so that's another thing to think about that's probably why Hulset went with bigger turbines in their compressor like with the HX35 the compressor in inducer was 54 millimeter on the exhaust wheel it was the exducer was 60 millimeter and for the HX40 it was some of them were 56 and then some were 60 and then BAE came out with that 62 millimeter one and then we can get that 66 millimeter compressor wheel and then uh, the or, yeah, exhaust turbine has a 64 millimeter exducer it's 64 by like 76 so uh, you can kind of see how they just added on like a couple millimeter just to make up for the large nut size and uh, yeah I guess that's it I can't really think of anything else or actually there is one more thing alright now another way to make these spool up faster is where you have the turbine housing that surrounds all of this you can have the exhaust housing to where the end of the spiral is really close to this blade right here so all that volume or all that air coming through pushing this turbine shaft it's pretty much it's forced to push this turbine because it can't go past it but on some, the way some of the turbos are set up the exhaust housing isn't really close to this so the air will pass by it or over it so it's not really getting a direct push and that makes a huge difference. The disadvantage to that is that if it if you have shaft play, it can hit these blades and ruin it. And another thing is that if you, it can also cause a, a lot of heat in the exhaust housing and can burn up these turbine blades too. So there are negative effects to some of this these school time tricks, but they can be done. Um, yeah, we don't really do everything or all of them, but for mo for the most part, some of the exhaust housings already come like like I just talked about, and uh, none of the turbines come with without a nut, but some of them come with like a smaller nut to make up for the weight difference, which makes sense because if you shave that nut off there, then it's really hard to uh, hold the turbine shaft when you're trying to tighten the the uh, nut to connect the compressor on so but it can be done we have done it before but we don't do it very often all right that's all